Hi, my name is Kweku, I am a pharmacist. And in today's video, I'm gonna be addressing questions that have already started coming up as to how Ozempic and other medications in that class, Trulicity, Victoza, Bayera, etc., compared to the newer skin on the block in that class, that is Monjaro or Tezapatai, how they compare in terms of diabetes management and weight loss. I guess the questions have started coming up because of the similarities in how these medications work. Well, without wasting much of your time, I can straightforward tell you that the initial data points to the fact that Monjaro or Tezapatai is a better product when it comes to diabetes management and weight loss. And it's a very simple explanation for that, which I'm going to go into in a, in a few seconds. But first of all, let us take a look at the data where they compared Ozempic head to head with Monjaro in terms of diabetes management and for weight loss. In terms of diabetes management, as you can see on your screen, uh, on the from the chart on your screen, Monjaro at doses of 5, 10, and 15 milligrams was compared to Ozempic at 1 milligram. Now, all the study participants had a common denominator of being type 2 diabetics and they were also taking metformin. Now, you can see that in all instances, the Monjaro was more effective at reducing the A1C from the, the mean starting baseline of 8.3%. You can also see that even the lower dose of Monjaro outperformed the 1 milligram of Ozempic, which is a high strength for Ozempic considering the starting dose is 0.25 milligrams. Now a similar trend was also observed when they compared both medications head to head in terms of weight loss. But before I proceed, I just want to put in the caveat that Monjaro has not yet been approved for the management weight of weight loss. These studies are based on the clinical trials that they did to get approval for the management of diabetes and not necessarily weight loss. So as you can see from the chart on your screen, in a 40-week study, you see that Monjaro, even at the lower strength, was more effective for weight loss compared to the relatively higher strength of, of Ozempic. On the average, the people taking about 5 milligrams of Monjaro lost about 17 pounds, where the higher strength of Ozempic at 1 milligram lost 13 pounds. So you can see that in terms of both diabetes management and in terms of weight loss, Monjaro outperformed Ozempic. Now, the reason for the seemingly significant differences in response to both medications that is Monjaro on the one side and Ozempic on the other is quite simple and that is the way the medications work. There is a very slight difference. So both medications work um, like hormones that are naturally produced by the body called incretins. Now when you ingest food or when you eat, your body naturally produces these incretins. The result of this incretin production is that your body produces more insulin. And, uh, and also the body engages in other processes that help you to number one, you know, break down your glucose and to limit your food intake by delaying how quickly food leaves the body. I go into that in detail in my video where I reviewed both medications individually. I'll link those videos uh, in the description. But it turns out that there are two main incretins, GIP and GLP-1. The interesting thing is that Monjaro stimulates both GIP and GLP-1 whilst Ozempic, Trulicity, Bayera, etc. only stimulates GLP-1. So you, get, you have a scenario where Monjaro is giving you the maximum possible benefit by stimulating both receptors, whereas the Ozempic and Co. only stimulate one of the receptors. The interesting thing is that the GIP accounts for about two-thirds of all the action of this increased insulin and reduction in glucagon production. The GIP accounts for two-thirds of it, and that is what Monjaro activates or stimulates in addition to the GLP-1. So when you take Monjaro, not only are you getting both receptor stimulated, you are getting the better one, the better of the two stimulated also. Whereas when you take Ozempic and the other ones, you're only having just the, the, the less potent receptor being stimulated. So obviously, if you have a scenario where one person is causing action on two receptors, both of which, one of which is the dominant one, and the other is only producing an effect by stimulating the weaker of the two receptors, you have a scenario where Monjaro obviously will be more efficacious in causing weight loss or in controlling or managing diabetes. Now, this is not to say that if you're taking Ozempic, run to your doctor and request for a change in the medication. If it's working for you, stick to it. But however, if you are not achieving the results that you and your doctor are desiring, it may not be a bad idea to look to see if Monjaro will be the way to go for you. I sincerely hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And on your screen now are my individual reviews of the Ozempic and the Monjaro that you can check out for more details about both medications. Thank you so much for staying through. Stay blessed.